All right, Manny, favorite game you found? Yes, right. Left, center, right. What? <laughs> We're at Central Gaming, a brand new store in Centerville. We're in the Food Lion Shopping Center, right next to Domino's. They've got games, more games, and games! Oh, man, so we are a board game store that specializes in board games, card games, role-playing games, party games, war miniature games. We have an awesome play space that can seat over 40 people, and we have war miniature games, so you can, war miniature game tables, so you can come here inside the store and play your games inside the store whenever you'd like. Wait, stop. Now, obviously, we shot this piece right before the grand opening months ago. Things have changed since then, and we're gonna let Dan tell you about what's been going on recently. So COVID sort of flipped the whole thing upside down. Uh, you know, uh, soft opening February 23rd, uh, literally closed down March 23rd. So open for a month, but we decided to use the downtime and we changed things up. We got a vending machine in because snacks are kind of a big deal. Um, we actually converted the back room into extra like retail space so that we could have more products for customers. We started planning how we were going to tackle events with COVID coming around. Like with COVID, like what is this new world that we're in gonna mm -hmm. look like? So we made sure that every table has a hand sanitizer bottle at it. We've got hand sanitizer when you walk in through the door when you're at checkout. So make sure that everything's clean and safe. When people are done, we wipe down the tables. We make sure everything's good. And we've also making sure that there's a limit to how many people are actually playing at a table. Also, when we run an official event, something like Friday Night Magic, um, when that event is going on, we don't open the table space up to other players. You have to be participating in the event in order to play in the store, which stinks because we're excluding people, but it's also really, really good because it means the players who want that experience can do it in a safe environment. Betrayal at House on the Hill. What is it? So basically it's a board game that's like a horror movie. So where these people have to go into this house, but as they explore the house, like you start building the house, you don't know where you're going to go next. And then all of a sudden at one point, somebody becomes a betrayer. Why did you decide to open this store? So I have always loved games. Um, games were actually really, really important to me growing up. Um, they taught me just patience, like learning to wait your turn. And they taught me how to like socialize and do so many things. Without games, I would be a completely different person. And I wanted to take that passion and share with other people. What is it? It's a dice game. And you can um, maybe gamble. <laughs> you play this a lot? Yes. Yeah. And if you can't gamble and you're not old enough, you can bet cookies or something. And now when people want to get involved like you are, they can find you on Facebook, right? Yeah, so I'm on Facebook. I have a website. We're going to be doing a bunch of different social media outlets as well that we're going to be de developing over time. Um, but Facebook is definitely the easiest way to get in touch with me. I respond usually within 30 minutes or less. It's small world, which is amazing. It, what's it about? Well, it's like Risk, but you get to be like goblins and Amazons and ogres and stuff, and they all have special abilities. And then you march across the land and take over other people's stuff, and you make people mad. You have so much going on. People need to check it out. Come by and have fun, and you'll be waiting, right? Hey, game on, guys. Game on. So, so Chris, yeah. this is really cool. You can come in and actually sit at the table yeah, and demo these games if you've never played them before, or you just want to try them out. Yeah, cause I, I, concept, it looks cool, but I have no idea what this is all about. You, so don't, know the, you don't know the concept? I don't know the concept. Ah. concept. But I could, if I could play it here, try it out, then maybe I want to take it home. Who knows? Right. So we could play Tokyo Highway right now. Oh, okay. Hey! Hey, guys, let's play this! This! Oh, look, it's the Around Town with Mandy home edition. Yeah. Get the MacGuffin. All right, let's try it. No. Right. Okay. Any extra cards going to... What, what, what's the goal? I wasn't here. So... Last, put a card down. Be the last person able to play a card. Holy cow. Okay, so uh, I am going to... Yeah. I'm excited. Huh? Yeah, ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, Mandy the Thief. <laughs> All right, so this is the discard pile now, too. It is. Back. And I'm going to shuffle them and deal them back out. Excellent. Right? Yes, this is the great equalizer. All right, so that's that good. Now. I like this game. I can get even. I got two. Me too. You got one. I had to force you. I had to face you. And uh, forcing me to discard that. So I put it in there. Yeah. You've defeated the villain, Mandy. I'm done. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. I can't play anything on my turn. Chris is the winner. And I wasn't dead yet. That was my last card. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that's, that's good. That's awesome. I like that. Great like game, that. guys. Thank you. All right, that was fun. That was really fun. I liked it. You can pick up Get the McGuffin. <laughs> <laughs> the Spine Establishment. Right here. 